flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and this morning I have to put together about 10 bouquets, not about, 10 bouquets to bring to one of the stores that sells my bouquets. So this is sold on a consignment. They take 20% of all sales, which um, for some people that might be too much, um, but that's pretty much the average around here. I'm currently in three stores and all three stores is 20% and I'm actually gonna be in a fourth store next year. I've already talked to another local cafe owner and they also would like uh, my bouquets in their store. So 20% is pretty average commission. So these market bouquets that I make have a $15 value so for every one of those bouquets that is sold I am making $12 off of that bouquet and I make sure that these bouquets really do have a $15 value so I don't want them to be um, too small because I'm only making 12 and I don't want them to be too big because I don't want to be giving away my flowers for free but anyway I know because of my bouquet bar, I have a price per stem. Um, so I know when I'm building the bouquet to reach that $15 mark. Sometimes I'll add another stem or two just to make it look whole. But anyway, that is how I build my bouquet. So let's do that right now. So I've kind of like enclosed myself <laughs> in the tables. So we have zinnias. These are, so basically I had a bouquet bar last night and these are the things that did not sell. Sometimes I do uh, monochromatic bouquets. Sometimes I do crazy colorful bouquets. Sometimes I'll do all zinnias or all of something else or all sunflowers. Anyway, I do an arrangement so that when people go to the store, they have a selection to choose from. I know a lot of people do like a recipe bouquet so that they all look the same, but I think part of the fun for my customers is to kind of find the one that they're feeling that day. They kind of just have like a, I'm feeling like, fall today or I'm feeling have a pink vibe and they just enjoy picking out their bouquet that much more because they have options they have options okay so this is the stuff left over from my bouquet bar I sold a lot of dahlias last night and the dahlias I price between three and five dollars a stem obviously like the cafe au lait's and the dinner plates are more speaking of cafe au lait's this is a cafe au lait rose it's still not finished opening I know some people oh like cut their dahlias when they're completely open. I find that's not necessary. I can oh, like cut them when they're half open and they will open in the vase. So I have a cafe au lait and a cafe au lait rose. Both of these will be incorporated. They will be kind of like the centerpiece of the bouquet. And then I have a lot of uh, just like orangey and then of course a lot of the Joey Morella color, which these are not Joey Morellas, but these are Arabian Nights and uh, Tamburo and black satin. So I've got all of these and some other ones as well. And then the zinnias, I just have a rainbow of colors. And then I've got, I, my phlox is still going strong. So I have the annual phlox, lots of that. I have a limited amount of sunflowers. A lot of those sold at the bouquet bar last night. I've got my mahogany hibiscus. I've got snow on the mountain euphorbia, which is uh, something you have to kind of warn your customers about because of the sap. It, ha it exudes the sap when you cut it, which can cause an allergic reaction. It does not on me, thankfully. I've got some Rubecchia over here, Gumfrina, Basil, Status, and then I do have a limited amount of Lysianthus that I will be putting into some of these bouquets. But some of that, because Lysianthus has such a long base life, I'm saving some of that for the farmer's market on Thursday that I'm gonna be doing, which is my farmer's market, guys, has been going so well. And speaking of going well, this consignment that I'm making these bouquets for this morning is doing awesome. So it's a small town, small mercantile, super cute, adorable. I love what they're doing. Now they have over 40 local vendors. I keep bringing bouquets there and they keep selling out within 24 hours. So the first time I brought bouquets there, I brought, I think six, um, sold out. And then I brought eight, sold out. And then I brought 12, sold out. The last two weeks, I brought 10 bouquets and they have sold out within a day, day and a half. So that's what I'm making this morning. And um, so, you know, it's $120 a week for me, uh, $400, almost $500 for the month. So it's worth it for me to drive them. It's about a 25 minute drive. And all I'm doing is dropping them off. Dropping them off, coming home takes me about an hour. I usually have something to do out while I'm out there, like a grocery stop. Like today I'm picking up stain for my son's fort that he's been building with my grandfather, or his grandfather, my dad. <laughs> okay, enough talking. Um, so the consignment's been going really well. I do have uh, two other stores in another city that I do consignment and they're not doing as well. They're consistently selling four bouquets. So that's another eight bouquets a week that I'm selling out 
in that area so it's you know add it all up and it is worth it for to make those trips so for the the monthly income it is worth it so all right i am gonna make these a bouquets let's start with the cafe au lait this is the cafe au lait rose it looks a little bit deformed but it's not it's still opening up so i'm gonna use this as my base and bring in some lighter pinks Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's actually like matchy matchy uh gorgeous and I'll bring this guy up to the camera, guys, when I'm uh, done with it. I'm going to bring in some white status. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the white status. Ooh, this is... Yep. Perfect. Okay, so... I can hear my puppy in the window. <laughs> Who is that doggy in the window? The pup's, uh, the screen door in the back is open. <laughs> chartreuse. I'm loving the chartreuse with this combination. I'm going to pull the status down just a touch. It's too tall. Okay, we've got, I'm going to do a bicolor gomfrina with this. Yup, yup, yup. She's cute. Basically, every bouquet gets like two stems of basil for that delicious smell. The fragrance is beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to add this up. Say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm about 13 right now. So I'm going to pull in another chartreuse zinnia. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then I'll grab a little piece of, oh yeah, of that Celosia. Okay, so this is a $15 value. So this is basically one of my market bouquets. It's got, obviously, let me pull that zinnia down because nothing should get in the face of that beauty right there. Okay, that's it, it's lovely. So I'm gonna go cut this, wrap it, and we're good to go, so one down. Nine to go. So here it is all wrapped up. I throw a sticker on the side and a packet of food, flower food, and the instructions are on the back and my, most of my customers know this, but anyway, so there it is. All right, I'm actually gonna put it in. I'm gonna move my snow on the mountain in with the dahlias. Oh, wow, that's so pretty together. And put the bouquet there. All right, okay, now let's just go with the other cafe. Oh gosh, I love it. And I'm gonna go with hot pinkies with this one um, because I got plenty of those. I'm also gonna be adding in some uh, queen lime zinnias. They're the queen lime reds. They're actually like super gorge. Oh yeah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, I can't. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm also going to add a Lysiantha stem with this. <laughs> Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one's almost done. I'm telling you, it's, it's a big deal here. Okay. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. And then a, stem of, a sprig of basil, and this is done. Okay. <gasps> the Gomprina. The Gunfrina has a lot of knuckles, if you will, and some of them can be weak. Weak knuckles. Gotta get brass ones. Okay, this one's all set. Oh my gosh, I love, let me get it closer. Okay, so clearly it's, it's the cafe, but it's the, I need to put, okay, it's gonna look amazing once I get this. And there's the Lysianthus, which matches the cafe. Gotta get that in the front. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Okay, all right, that one's on display. Mm, just that one sprig of lemon basil in each bouquet, even if none of the other flowers have an aroma or a scent to them, it just is a beautiful thing, really. People can't believe it when they, when they smell and they're like, 
can I cook with this? And I'm like, yeah, you can. Two. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's go monochromatic because I need to get going. I'm gonna use a Cornell bronze. You know what, I'm not. I'm gonna use that baby right there and this baby right here. Do, so that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is basically an all orangey orange bouquet. I really wish that I could use Snow on the Mountain Euphorbia with it um, because I think that would be gorgeous, but I can't. I cannot, without some sort of a warning to the customers, I, I have to be face to face with the customers when I sell them the, the Euphorbia because I just feel the like, same thing with the foxglove. I have a ton of foxglove ready to harvest. I'm saving it for the farmer's market on Thursday because I need to let people know that can be toxic. If your cat or whatever, the foxglove, are, are, they're, they're toxic, they're poison. So. Anyway, I, those things, I need to be face to face with those customers if I don't have a note. Like if I had a little note card, maybe I'll make those for next year. Like, please be aware that several flowers have toxicity that can be fatal. They can be fatal. Boo, scary. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't have that right now, but I do have this monochromatic bouquet that I'm gonna put um, more fall into with these. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I love it! Oh, I love it! Should I? Should I? Should I? No, I shouldn't. But I sh Oh, yep. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. This is it. It's all of the queen lime oranges with a couple of chartreuse with the mahogany hibiscus and one hot biscuit. Is it not focusing? Oh, there it goes. So sometimes the dahlias, <laughs> they start to fall apart. So obviously I harvested this one a little bit late. <laughs> so if you give a little bit of a tug on the underside and it turns into, here, I'll just take off the stem. Basically, dahlia confetti. Oh, they're so cool though. Like I love the feel of them. They still feel, oh, mosquito. <sighs> Oh, I gotta sweep the porch off. Axel! Axel sweeps the porch. Anyway, they start to come off the back of the dahlia head, and that's kind of when you know, that's too far gone. What color shall we do now? Shall we do, we shall do this one, yes. I'm gonna put two of these amazing tamburo dahlias. Um, stunning. Stunning, and they still have their um, petals in the back. They're not getting weak. I just cut them yesterday morning, so they should be good today. Uh, and then I'm feeling like some queen limes and then some whites. Oh yeah, so this is six dollars, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's like my focals. Just one sprig of mahogany hibiscus. I feel like that's all I need of that. Uh, I do, like, what I really wanna do is this. <laughs> that's what I really wanna do with the euphorbia, but I can't, can't. So basil it is. Ooh, yes. So basil and I feel like one more this kind of like, maybe one more of the queens. Yeah. I actually need one more white. Yeah, she, she's stunning. Wow. Oh yeah, you look good. You look good. You look good, girl, you know you look good. You like, that's it. Okay, so let me count this up. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. This one has a little bit more value. It's hard to see. It's hard to come across on video um, just how beautiful these are. 
uh, but there they are. Just take my word for it, okay? So here is, a, oh, there's like a shadow. It almost looks like my camera's cracked right there. Look, ooh. Zinnia's bright, dark, bright, dark, bright. <laughs> anyway, probably me too. <laughs> okay, okay, this is bad. I might have to move the way the sun, it's like the sun is peeking through one little tiny piece of the trees. I turn around so you see. It's right there. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> is it too close? Oh my god. Oh god, I can't do this. Okay, we gotta shift. He's pretty, no? Yes? Okay. Okay, I need another bucket. All right, shifting again. <laughs> Shift the dahlias over here. Now it's the hobbies. Here. Okay. I do have more buckets over there. I'm just being super lazy. Oh, I'm cutting off my head now. Ah, I have headroom now. Okay. So I'm gonna do something without a dahlia because I feel like I don't need to, I don't need a dahlia even though I have so many dahlias. But honestly, People are loving just the zinnias because A, they're gorgeous, and B, they last a long time. Guys, take note that I actually finished a sentence when I start with, well, A, because, and then I usually go off on a tangent and never get to B. I just got to B. <laughs> I got to B. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go with these, uh, I think they're actually called Benary Lilac. I love the color. So I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of these. Oh, wow. And I'm just gonna do a big zinnia bouquet with a little bit of filler. And it's gonna be basil and status, I think. Let me grab, yeah, just this lighter pink status with the zinnias. Yeah, that's fresh. It is fresh. And someone's gonna walk in and be like, this was made for me. And that's what I like to do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're gorgeous! Pink feather, flamingo, celosia. Uh huh. And basil. 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 Yeah, that's amazing. That looks fantastic. I love it. 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 I will resist temptation to put Gumfrina in. I don't think it needs it. It's fine the way it is. This is a value. I love it, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some sunflowers now because everyone loves those. Grab some of these. Basically take off all the leaves, which I do. I strip them in the field as I'm harvesting. But sometimes the ones around the head are still there. Um, let's start with three. Let's grab some hibiscus and some hot biscuits. And then we'll fill around with, how about one of these is nice. So three, five, eight, nine, 10, 11. Um, yeah, we'll do two of those. I feel like that's great. And then a couple yellows ends to even out the colors. Get off my petal. Get off my petal. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm, um, gotta be honest, I'm not a huge fan of these canary yellow ends, but I find them to go really well with the sunflower bouquets. Um, so at least there's that. <laughs> Honestly, they're. They're the ones, they've actually taken a long time to be full. They were very, very single, very single petals, almost like, like this the whole time. And now they're just starting to get that full doubleness, doubleness, doubleness gum. Okay, so here's that one. I know it's a little 
dark. Oh yeah, okay, you can see it. This is one of my favorite color combinations, especially as we go into September. The sunflower yellow, the mahogany hibiscus, the, the dahlia, which these are the black satin dahlias, and the hot biscuits. And I don't know if it was because of the hot weather or um, maybe it was just I made a mistake, but all of my hot biscuits, hot biscuits, amaranth, is going to seed now. Like it's seriously all going to seed, so is my celosia. So all of the stuff that I thought was gonna be my big crops in September are gone to seed. They have gone to seed. And I'm barely able to cut anything off them. I think these are probably the last dozen hot biscuits that I was able to harvest. So I guess I can collect seeds, <laughs> but also I wanted to make bouquets because September is like one of the biggest months for flowers and now I don't have, I don't have my stuff. So next year I will succession plant. So I'm gonna make probably a couple more of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward that. There's that one with the white dahlia tucked in. Uh, I think it's eye catching. I really like it. Chewed up by a mosquito on my eyelash line, which is no bueno. Okay, so one more of these sunflower ones. I'm actually out of hot biscuits. I used the rest and actually sold quite a few at the bouquet bar last night. The black satin. And this is the tamburo. Wow. Me love. Oh, and what else am I gonna do here with these? Let's go with pink zins. Like, who says we can't do that? I love it. This is already kind of overpriced right here. Um, so I'm gonna put one of the zins back and Maybe do a cute little phlox for filler and then a little bit of basil. I'm not going to use the hibiscus on this one because um, it, I don't want the colors to clash with the pink zins. One thing of celosia. Okay, it's done. Here is this combination of the pinks, which is hard to see. The darks and the pinks and the sunnies. So cute. Running out of room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only two to go. <laughs> okay, this is just gonna sit in here with the Rubeckian flax because I am out of space. Oh, you're beautiful, Florel. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's do like the coral zinnias are calling my name. So I'm just gonna do a monochromatic coral zins. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, definitely with these two because they have the coral, but they're the they're a creamier coral. They're more of a peachy coral. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Okay, got those. We've got you, come here. And then I'm gonna put one creamy stem of Lysianthus. Oh yes. This creamy celosia. <laughs> Does my karate chop sneeze. Hibiscus. <laughs> A tag along. This is why I inspect there is it would not focus here. You see him crawling. It is not focused. There is a shield bug. I call them shield bugs. I know there are other names for it. But you must get off. Go. He's gone. <gasps> you are missing one thing. Um. You. Yep. Okay. All right. It's done. Corals and hibiscus. Corals and hibiscus. I love them. Um, one more. One more. One more. What color, guys? What color? You know what? I'm going to grab the Rebecca and the sunflowers and just make like a Rebecca sunflower bouquet because there's quite a bit of it. Okay. So I've got all these Rebecca's. That one's a little past its prime. The rest are hot. I'm loving it. And if I just put the hibiscus in here and a sprig of basil, this is like a super fall bouquet. 
super fall. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh my god, this would be for September. This is my wedding palette for sure. Uh huh. There. Now all of the sunflowers that I have today are spoken for, and the Rebecca has a home. I flip and love these Rebecca's. They're so cute. Yep. One more. This one. This is. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Okay, so it's just a sunflower, Rebecca, mahogany, splendor, hibiscus, beauty. And I'm gonna add just one sprig of basil for good measure. <laughs> just for good measure. I think this one might be my favorite. It's got one, you can't really see it, but it's got one cherry Rebecca, which is that burgundy cherry colored one. Okay, so now I have to get my buckets ready because I'm bringing these in black buckets with flower food. I usually bring two, but it's kind of, these are a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna bring three buckets today. Okay, so these three buckets have, wow, that Celosia. I gotta get a close up shot of that. Ooh, that's gorgeous. And I think it's a Texas plume from uh, Florette, that seed packet. Okay, anyway, these three buckets are going to be delivered to the mercantile and they just, they take care of them from there. Now there is flower food in each of the buckets. There's about three inches of water in each one, uh, which I just make up in gallon jugs and pour it. So um, they know they'll take care of it, change the water every couple days, et cetera, et cetera. But honestly, these are not lasting a couple days in the store. They're all being sold very quickly so which is a great thing because the daily isn't here you know a lot of people though gotta be honest with you a lot of my customers are coming up to me at the farmers market and saying my dahlias still looked good a week later so i don't know maybe cutting them a little early is um, beneficial for me so anyway i am going to load the car and get ready to make this delivery are you, are you barking at me are you barking at me? spoke for like three minutes and I wasn't recording and my camera just went to sleep. <sighs> Such is life. Okay, so what I said already and I'll reiterate again here is you might be wondering, well, you have flowers left. Well, I have more bouquets to make. So I have eight more bouquets to bring to my other stores the opposite direction. I do that delivery on Wednesdays. So Tuesday, the mercantile, Wednesday, the cafe and the food shop. And uh, yeah, so I will be making some bouquets either tonight or tomorrow morning to take there um, tomorrow. So anyway, that's that's what it is. They all just look so good. I'm really curious as to how long the season is gonna last because last year we had our first frost on September 15th. That's early. The year before it was October 13th. So it really can be any time. Fortunately, right now, we are forecasting a warmer than usual fall, but that doesn't mean we won't have a night that dips down into the, thir the low 30s. So, we, I don't know. I don't know. It's a crapshoot. Hopefully, at least another, you know, through the end of this month, I do have an event I was just asked to participate in on October 2nd. So, if I have flowers, then I can, um, it's like a, almost like a, a craft fair, but um, they want me to bring my flowers, so. Anyway, we will see how long the season lasts, but it's been really a great season so far. I'm probably, I've bitten off more than I can chew, but I'm actively chewing. I might need dentures by the end of the season. <laughs> I've been chewing a lot. But anyway, it's been great. But thank you guys so much for sticking around and we'll see you soon.